very, very serious. I'm not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, a pet lion, and, and I feel this pet lion needs a massage. So I'm going to show this young lady the proper way to give a massage to your pet lion. Okay? Ready? To this day, it still doesn't have a name. Okay, but the thing is, lions, like people, like to be touched. That's the secret of life. You want to be in touch, you want to give them lots of love. Same thing is, I'm trying, when I do this, I'm taking a lion back to when I was a little baby, little, little cub. So the thing I want to do is just kind of warm them up. I shake them. I make sure if if he likes it or not. So I said, "Is this okay?" He says, "Yes." Next, when I give him a massage, I start with the bottom with his back. Keep in mind, I can't stand like this because the energetic vibration is, is is not comfortable. What I do is I lean my weight. See, I have that weight, so I'm gonna start from here to here. Going for each point, your back represents your bladder area. It also deals with um, um, balance in life, deals with uh, fear, it deals with detoxification. A lot of times people have this sciatica and they're right along the butt area. It means they're an overload of their balance, which means Johnny too much salt or too much meat. People have sciatica for, for, for the, the body's trying to adjust itself to balance. Okay, see that? So I start with open hand. So I get his whole back. So I breathe in. So count of one, I breathe in, and just try to get him in a relaxed state. Our whole body, the shelter is based on seven, seven levels. So I breathe in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's when they're in a relaxed state. If they're in a relaxed state, that's where all healing takes place. So I'm going to work the back down in the bladder area. I hold my hand, spread it. I work my way down. Work my way down. Keep my wash my feet. I don't stand like this. I want to have my core going into his back. At the same time, I'm very aware of, of, of the lion's consciousness. So what I do. I grab on top of his head, in front of his in front of his head. That's called the occipital hold. That deals with the gallbladder and liver area. When I do that, I'm telling all at the major organs, no big deal, relax. I also grab the, the ears. That represents the kidneys. The kidneys will show up the bottom of your feet, low back. It also shows up as vertigo. Two people in the past two days both had vertigo. Kidney imbalance. What does that mean? That means our kidneys work at a rate of 50 gallons per hour. When you're overloaded, especially with salt, meat, the kidneys has to readjust itself. When that happens, it becomes imbalance. It affects your ears, it affects your back, it affects your dizziness. So many factors. I recommend people just eat watermelon. It's okay. So do the back. This is the kidney area. This is the uh, gallbladder area. Gold body works alongside here. Kidney works uh, from the bottom of your feet up here. I just try, try to give it a proper stance. So that's it for a line. Bye.